Yo, what up, though? So everybody want to know what's going on with Quasi, man. Quasi this, Quasi that. Quasi isn't a guy. He isn't the right GM for the job. I don't think none of that's for real. Because if y'all remember, Quasi said this will be a collabo thing. Because ownership told Quasi when he first got here, they want to keep things together. And that exactly what Quasi did, right or wrong. But I think Quasi's is playing with the cards he was dealt. Now Quasi is trying to change his cards. He's trying to change his hand. And what I mean by that is Quasi it land things fall apart so he can go back to the ownership and show them, see, it isn't working. Let me have full control and do what I have to do to deliver us a Super Bowl. Cause at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, man. Winning football games and winning championships. The Minnesota Vikings ain't never won a Super Bowl. And this team right here is straight trash. I'm not going to hold y'all up. And Quasi is sitting back, rubbing his hands together like Birdman, waiting for the right moment to go to uh, ownership and, like, let me trade some players and give me full control so I can get the things back on track. Because right now, the train is off track, completely off track. And I think he's just sitting back, man, playing the cards he would dealt until the time to reshuffle that hand. <laughs> yeah. I think Quasi got a plan in mind. Quasi don't want to do a collab both. With all them people up top. If anything, he just want to do collabo with the defense coordinator and the head coach. Y'all see what KOC said. I beat on. I beat out being on the table until Quasi took Jordan Addison. I did a lot of homework on Ja in the upcoming draft. So y'all don't think KOC is sitting back and doing his homework on these up and coming quarterbacks? Knowing the Minnesota Vikings will probably have a top five pick in this NFL draft. And you think they're gonna trade that pick away? Man, that no, that that top five pick the Minnesota Vikings will have will probably change the franchise around if they draft the right quarterback, man. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I still got faith in Quasi and them. Cause Quasi don't wanna take orders or hear shit from the other people up top. He just wanna hear shit from two people. And so he can he can translate the shit that that uh, KOC and Brian Flores told him he could send it off to the people so they can scout the players that these people were talking about. Cause at the end of the day, man, you only can have one chef in the kitchen. You can't have five and six chefs in the kitchen and think you about to make a dog ass plate. It don't go like that, man. It's only one chef in the damn kitchen. Let's be for real now. The collabo thing isn't working. Everybody see the shit. KOC see it. Shit, ownership see it now. Because after they lose to Chicago, shit, oh, my God, the house is on fire. <laughs> then you play San Fran after Chicago. So, shit, you looking at what? You looking at probably one and six in the trade line coming up? I don't know more about what's going on with Quasi and, man and management once the trade line hit. If the Minnesota Vikings don't trade nobody, they ain't get crazy full control yet. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. But if I see some players getting traded, I would be like, oh, yeah, they leaning toward getting crazy all of the control as being the GM and shit is changing. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Because Daniil Hunter, KJ Osborne, hey, you can get some draft picks for them. I don't care nobody say. A draft pick is good and, and, and for sure in this upcoming draft because the Minnesota Vikings, man, have a lot of holes to fill. For next year, man, we got a lot of free agents. We got $58 million, I think, in dead cap. So we ain't going to have that much money to to spend on players. So we're going to need draft picks. And we're going to have to hit only draft picks. This year, draft class was better than last year. But last year, draft class, I'm pretty sure our old DC had his hand all over no defensive players that the Minnesota Vikings took. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real with that. Cause you can see in this in this year draft, the people Brian Flores picked, most of them are doing good for real. I don't know what's going on with Big Roy though, but the season's still early. But I just feel like Quasi man sitting back and letting the house just burn. He's sitting back watching the house burn with water behind him, asking the owner, cannot put the fire out or y'all want the shit to continue to burn. And I think the ownership gonna lean towards 
giving Quasi the keys to the to the car. Cause the shit ain't working. The collabo thing isn't working, man. Draft picks last year was a, a disaster. This year draft picks was okay. But the Minnesota Vikings is some shit, man. We got 60 million 58 in dead cap next year. We ain't got no veteran quarterback. We losing a lot of players on offense and defense in free agency. We about to have a hole on the offensive line because Cleveland is the free agent. So the Minnesota Vikings, man, got a lot of work to do. And for real, for real, they, can, they really can get started now on getting the work done for next year. What I mean by that is trade some players that you can trade for draft capital. I'm just, I'm just keep saying that until I until the trade deadline. I'm gonna keep on saying trade some damn players, man. You got to. At the end of the day, man, it's about making this football team better. And Quasi is saying back like this shit is a disaster. Like this shit is horrible. This whole team is not playing good and nothing. And KOC probably like man, we gotta find us a quarterback, man. You don't see. You don't think they sitting back thinking and talking behind the scene. On how to make the team better going forward, man. A quarterback, the right quarterback, will make a lot of things better, man. Because people want to say the defense, the defense kept us in football games. If the Minnesota Vikings, I feel, had a mobile quarterback, we would won more games than we did this year, man. And we paying this quarterback thirty five million. We can spread that money out, get us a rookie quarterback, and get get us a cheaper veteran quarterback, and roll the dice like that, man. You can hey you can go get Jameson Winston, man. He'll be a free agent after this year. Sign Jameson Will Jameson Winston to like a one year deal on the cheap side. Draft your quarterback in the top five pick. Let Jameson, you know, play it out for a few games. And then replace his ass. It's not hard. I don't care what veteran quarterback it is. But we're gonna need a veteran quarterback to go with the rookie quarterback. But I think Quasey's just playing his cards, man. I think Quasey sitting back and about to reshuffle his hand. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all let me know in the comment section below, man. Do y'all feel like Quasey and land the shit just happened or the shit just bad, period? I think he just letting the shit happen so he can get full control.